All right. Um, the definite integral and symmetry. Okay, uh, we, we're talking about um, odd and even symmetry, so let's remind ourselves of the definition. Okay, odd symmetry, or oh, let's start with even symmetry, actually. Even symmetry, the, the term even came from um, the even power, the even exponent of power function. So um, if you have like uh, x to the x squared, x to the fourth, x to the sixth, those are even powers. And the behavior of this, and those functions have this type of symmetry. Um, the definition is f of negative x equals f of x. Okay, this is the definition of even symmetry, while odd symmetry, again, originally the, uh, those functions the typical function would be function that have odd powers of x, x cubed, x to the fifth, x by itself, x to the one. Uh, in this case, f to the negative x is negative f to the x. Okay? And now we are looking at odd and even symmetry as they apply to the definite integral when you have the boundaries will go from negative b to positive b. So the boundaries are the same boundaries, but one is negative, the other is positive, okay? <clears throat> so we're going to say that the integral of f of x from negative b to positive b equals twice the integral from 0 to b of f of x dx if f of x is even function. And the integral from negative b to positive b of f of x dx equals zero if f of x is an odd function. So, this will save you a lot of um, unnecessary activity. If you have an odd function, and if you have an even function, you just integrate from zero to b instead of from negative b to b. To give you an example, um, what would be a good example? Sine, well, the sine and cosine are uh, just, you know, something like uh, x to the fourth minus 5, from negative 5 to positive 5. Then you integrate it from, you, you integrate it from 0 to 5, and you double their outcome. Okay. I'm not going to give you an example, but this is something that you want to remember. Uh, the definition of even and odd symmetry, and not every function, the function doesn't have to be either even or odd. And it could be neither. Matter of fact, most functions are neither odd yeah. nor even. No, I'm talking about this definition. Yeah, the power of an exponent, that, that's explained the, the word that we're using, but it doesn't have to be a power function to begin with. As long as a function uh, fits one of these two models, one of these two definitions, then we can call it either even or odd, and therefore, um, these, those rules of integration apply, okay?